Hello, welcome to Crystalline Science. This is Crystalline Mahalik, aka Mrs. Mahalik, teaching you middle school level science. Today we're talking about the law of conservation of mass and why we need to know that before we can balance equations. And so today um, I'm showing you these two Boston bottles on here water inside them and an effervescent tablet is on each of the sides of this balance. They also have corks on each side of the balance and those are also on there so that it, it keeps things even so they're not leaning in one particular direction. Now the law of conservation of mass states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. So the same things that we make everything here, all of the solids we can see, everything. Um, the reason we can make those things is because it's all made from substances from the earth. Yes, even like your phone. Your phone is made of substances from the earth. Aliens didn't come and drop your phone off. Like everything that you see was made of substances that are found on th this earth, elements, chemicals that are found on the earth. Okay, so in order to explain that, we're just saying that you cannot create or destroy any new matter. Everything that's here is here. Now you can build compounds and stuff like that that helps you create those things like plastics. Um, but there's nothing new. There's nothing being created. Nothing's being destroyed. That goes along with the law of conservation of energy. Maybe you've heard of that before. That states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So the food that I eat, you know, maybe if I'm eating a salad, it took light from the sun, so it converted that energy into food energy, which I used to make, uh, you know, mechanical energy so that I could move and stuff like that um, from the sugars that are in it. And so the energy is always conserved. Nothing is ever officially destroyed. Now, there was this crazy guy named Albert Einstein who decided that you could create a small amount of matter to create a large amount of energy. And that's a whole different story there because he's like, I will not be bound by the laws of science. Anyways, back to here. We have two different Boston bottles here, and I'm going to put this effervescent tablet in this side and plug it up. So now a chemical change is occurring here. The effervescent tablet is creating a new gas, and you can see that this is bobbing around because of the movement, but there's no side that's bigger than the other until that cork just popped. And how this side goes down, and this one goes up because that gas escaped. And so since they were balanced the entire time while that cork was still on, we can tell that even though a new gas was created, it was still something. This isn't nothing. This is gas being released into this classroom. So the law of conservation of mass is proven to be true because they ended up being balanced through that entire time. So now what we need to do is balance this equation right here. So I wrote this equation on the board. Uh, we're making water. So we're taking a molecule of hydrogen plus a molecule of oxygen and we're yielding, this arrow means yield, we are yielding H2O or water. So let me talk about what this means. First of all, H2, it's not just hydrogen, it's H2 because it's more stable if we put it together as a molecule of H2, which looks like this. H, H. Is that hard to see? Let me try it this way. H, H. Okay, so now you can see that that's two H's stuck together. Over here, there's two O's stuck together, which would look like this. O and O. Two O's stuck together. So now when we move over here, all of a sudden we have H2O, which would look like this. It would have two H's, right, and two O's, but wait a minute, H2O, Two H's and an O. Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse. Here we go. So now we have H2O over there, but you know, there were two H's over here, and there's two H's over there. There were two O's over here, but there's only one O over there. That doesn't make any sense. So we have to be able to balance this equation. So what you can do is you can add coefficients. Now, a coefficient is just a number that comes before uh, a compound. And so since I have two H's over here and two H's over here, that's even. But my O's are not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get two O's over there. So I'm going to add a coefficient right here. It's going to be a big number two. Big two right there for the coefficient, which gives me a total of two H2's, which is really four H's. And then two O's. So I can draw my other O here. And then over here, I have two H's, but over there I have four H's, so I need to balance this again. So now I can put a big two right here in front of my H2, which ends up giving me a total of four H's all together because I have two H's here and two H's here. There's my two H2's. And now I have four H's and two O's on either side of the equation. And that's how you balance a chemical equation. Thanks for watching Crystalline Science.